Day 14 of October, time to rise and grind. Seven minutes, 42 seconds That freaking sucked. More than usual, but we got it done. I made this protein oatmeal for breakfast. It looked absolutely horrible, even worse than it does now. So I tried saving it with some cinnamon, some honey, and some peanut butter. figured I'd entertain this thought and I truly do think that people do care for each other if they are given the opportunity like the other day a little bit back I uh, was walking outside with Erebus my dog and I saw some people moving in and they said I'll buy you a case of beers if you help me move in a couple heavy things and I said I'll do it for free so I did and after I helped them move in everything they offered me 20 bucks and he insisted so I took it but like I was just doing it just because he gave me an opportunity to do a kind gesture. I just feel like everybody has a good heart, you know, truly. I just feel like people really help each other when they are in need in some degree. Like there are many examples, like one time I saw a car like spin off the highway. The truck behind them immediately pulled over just to make sure they were okay. Like I think people truly care for each other. They just got to have the opportunity to show that. We are on the next three pages of Atomic Habits. Improvements are only temporary until they become part of who you are. The goal is not to read a book. The goal is to become a reader. The goal is not to run a marathon. The goal is to become a runner. The goal is not to learn an instrument. The goal is to become a musician. Your behaviors are usually a reflection of your identity. When your behavior and your identity are fully aligned, you are no longer pursuing behavior change. You are simply acting like the type of person you already believe yourself to be. Like all aspects of habit formation, this too is a double-edged sword. When working for you, identity change can be a powerful force for self-improvement. When working against you though, identity change can be a curse. Once you have adopted an identity, it can be easy to let your allegiance to it impact your ability to change. Some examples of this would be, I'm terrible with directions, I'm not a morning person, I'm bad at remembering people's names, I'm always late, I'm not good with technology, I'm horrible at math. Now when you do this, you are identifying yourself as this type of person. So it's not going to be easy to change, you have to understand that this is not you and you're just reassuring that it is. The more deeply a thought or action is tied to your identity, the more difficult it is to change it. The biggest barrier to positive change at any level is identity conflict. On any given day, you may struggle with your habits because you're too busy or too tired or too overwhelmed or hundreds of other reasons, but the real reason you fail to stick with habits is that your self-image gets in the way. This is why you can't get too attached to one version of your identity. Progress requires unlearning. Becoming the best version of yourself requires you to continuously edit your beliefs and to upgrade and expand your identity. It's essentially saying that you behave however you identify. So ask yourself which identities are in your favor and which identities are not. And just obviously try to work towards the identities that benefit you and eliminate the ones that don't. Update the board. We got our mile out of the way. We got our journaling visualized. Oh my God, dude, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me right now? Before I was rudely interrupted, I got visualization. Oh my god, I can't freaking draw an X. Affirmations, reflection, meditation, and read at least three pages. Now we are on study or five vocab words. Our first word is hackneyed, which means unoriginal, comma, trite. Then we have indrawn, which means quiet and thoughtful, often reserved. Then we have insuperable, which is impossible to overcome or defeat. Indolent is unmotivated or not trying and cultish is playful and full of energy and boom now i'm going to edit a short form vid so i can post to there all right this is good now let's go ahead and go to the gym so we can complete the rest of the routine i was super tired and hungry but i know what i need to do is work out right so before i went to work out i decided to get an energy drink and some food in me some protein i actually got some chicken tenders from cook <laughs> not cook and go come and go and it is actually really good um i've <laughs> always judged it but it's fire i just needed some protein and that was you know what i decided on and now i gotta go work out but i want to just say a couple of things first so first off my mic 
I can't get it to work. I don't know what is wrong with it. I think it's the cord possibly because it shows that my my voice is going through, like it's showing it on the other mic. But whenever I play the video back, my voice isn't going through the microphone. It's just going through my phone audio. So I don't know what I'm gonna do. I gotta maybe replace the cord, which kind of sucks because that may or may not work. But I decided, you know, I don't wanna have that hold me back from streaming. I want to stream and have a good stream. I don't miss my streams. I lift all the time and I stream all the time. So I don't wanna ruin the streak. So I figured I'd just work out at my apartment gym since it's small, I don't really need a microphone. Hopefully the music is low so you can hear me pretty good. And I'm just gonna, basically what I'm trying to say is there's gonna be obstacles coming your way and you just gotta figure out what is my best move? You know, you got to look at the chessboard and see what is the best move I can play. Because there's always a best move to play. Maybe not the move you want to make, but you just got to figure out what you need to do. So that's what I'm doing. I really have not been feeling it lately, like working out. But I think once I get into the gym, get a little bit of momentum going, it will turn into a good workout. So I guess I'll see you there. i to start my stream, but we are up to 21 pull-ups. So let's see how many sets it takes. It's better than yesterday. <laughs> Leaves us with six more. We can do that. Oh, that was rough. But we did it. We are on to 24, I believe, of these guys. No, 26, actually. Ran out of storage, it's always annoying, but cleared that up. So I'm gonna get my stretching in and start my stream with 100 push ups, of course. We are hitting chest. Physique check time. Just had a great chest session. Just had a tremendous workout so i hope you can see how i went from not feeling it to actually having one of the best chest sessions i've had in a while just because i started by getting myself momentum by going to the gym doing what i needed to do which is start the, start my stream off with 100 push-ups and then after that i just kept on chasing this pump and then eventually i got a pump so good it just I feel so much better now that I got that out of the way and I didn't have a bad session. I had a really good lift, really good stream. All that is left is posting that stream to YouTube, which I'm going to do after I take this dog out. And then I have to go do my daily task, which today I decided to start my jujitsu journey, which is going to be fun. The only con is I'm going to be burning a lot of calories, but it's going to be fun and it's going to teach me, you know, discipline and it would just be a new endeavor for me, so I'm excited for that. 
that's about in an hour. So I think I'm gonna hold off on the hiding routine till after I get back because I'm gonna get so sweaty, but I'm excited for that. I think I'm gonna pretty much wrap up this video since we're practically done. So yeah, day 14 ended up being super good. I had moments where I just wasn't feeling it. I was lazy, unmotivated, but I got myself to do what needed to be done and we feel great now. We are about halfway through the month, which is amazing. Every single day just adds to this investment. So I'm excited to keep this journey going. If you are watching, I just wanna say thank you so much for the support and just viewing. I've been getting a lot of awesome comments saying how I motivate people to better themselves. And really that's like the best thing I can hear because I want to better my myself and influence other people to do the same so if that is you keep striving stay sedulous and fuck wasted potential okay i lied i'm actually gonna go ahead and shower before and after and i also weighed myself i forgot to tell you that but i'm at 164 so really good definitely gonna lose some calories but hopefully gain it back tonight i'm just gonna go ahead and edit this after i get back from jujitsu so i might as well update you and tell you how that goes all right first class in the books definitely learned a lot i had a lot of fun and i'm just super excited to fulfill my potential in this endeavor and just continue this journey so it's super fun to just try something new and see how you like it so hope that can motivate you to try something new and to just give something a shot be open-minded because you don't know what awaits you there's so many different things you can fulfill your potential in and i'm excited to try out jujitsu because i just see myself becoming more experienced and having more fun with it so without further ado two things to say Fuck waste the potential and stay sedulous.